Uh, hey everyone, good morning. Uh, welcome to this big idea video about English 101 and the essay for week 7. Uh, I got a few things to say about this particular subject, so let's get started. Okay, so you've engaged in this process so far this term that uh, you've probably seen uh, before where we've talked a little bit about uh, doing a reading together as a class, a shared article, then you do some notes, and then you do a discussion board, and then you do a discussion journal, and then you recently just finished something called a summary and evaluation, which is over in this area. And now you're going to be doing a rough draft and then submitting a final draft by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. This whole process is meant to give us an opportunity to put a bunch of things together to come to an idea about what we think related to a question that we want to ask. Now, to put everything together, uh, what we really have to do is think about the workshop instruction sheet. And that is at the very top of the workshop Blackboard page. So you can see here, this is everything that you need to do in narrative form. Uh, it lays out uh, a potential question that you could use. What impacts do events like the pandemic, social, cultural unrest have on our mental health? That's the question that you should start with, but if you have a better one, you should totally do that. So again, this is narrative. The rubric that we have for this particular assignment is more roadmap. So the rubric gives us an opportunity to see how things are all laid out by each thing that I'm asking you to do. So question, thesis, intro, hypothetical, likely objections, using sources, the four total sources that you need, um, how to cite those particular sources as well as a part of this rubric, and then things related to MLA and grammar, roadmap. If this is narrative and it describes all the things that we're going to be doing, the roadmap is your specific way home to finishing this particular assignment. So let's talk source totals. One uh, you need is the shared article that we looked at together as a class and worked on in discussion board and journal. The second article you need is going to be something that you research. And also the third article, uh, same, same as well. So go into the research databases that I've linked in Blackboard so you can see um, the potential places that you can go look to find those sources. Things like Academic Search and Gale and those kinds of things. And then the fourth source that you need is the interview of another student. And so you can go back into the discussion board uh, and look to see some interesting things that people have said and you're gonna draw one of those quotations into your paper and use that as a source. If none of those are working for you, please feel free to talk to somebody you know in the world, maybe a trusted friend or family member. That could also suffice for this particular source. And finally, you're going to be submitting um, a rough draft of this paper to the online writing tutor middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, so you can uh, have the opportunity to get feedback back from the online writing tutor uh, so you can make changes to your paper based on what they say. Please feel free to send me specific questions that you have about your work. Um, I'm more than happy to talk about, more than happy to answer any questions you have about this. And then finally, you'll turn in the, the the final draft of that of this particular essay, man, I can't really talk this morning at all. You'll turn in the, the final draft of this essay Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So I also want to say that when you get into Blackboard, uh, the week seven lesson plan is going to look really long, but all the turn in links are at the very bottom of the page for the rough draft and for the final draft. Why is the week seven page so long? Well, it has things that we looked at in weeks five and six. So everything that was on those previous pages is gonna be listed on that particular week seven page as well as a kind of one-stop shop to see everything that you need. So good intro and conclusion. There's info there about thesis statements, likely objections, hypotheticals, how your sources, uh, should appear when it comes to citation methods, all that stuff. So it's going to be a really long page. So thanks for watching this video. I appreciate the time that you're putting into the course and on this particular paper. And we'll see you in the next one. And good luck. Peace.